y'all and welcome to today's video. We are going to be swatching and playing with and creating looks with the new Nomad palette. Oh, this packaging is so, so cool. I cannot wait to play with this. This palette is launching on Tuesday, January 24th. Look at this color story. Look at it, the blues, the reds, the really deep dark tones, the bright shades. We're gonna swatch this out. We're gonna talk about this palette. I cannot wait. And if you're new here, I wanna say, hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy. Here at my channel, we don't try to be perfect. We just want to have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means. I do upload lots of new videos every single week. So I hope that you will subscribe before you leave today but I am so excited for this palette, so let's jump into it. All right, let's talk about this palette. Again, this is launching on the 24th. I will put all the launch details down below. Nomad did send me this palette, and this is a palette that is based on Verona. So let me kind of read the card to you. Here's the beautiful photo, and it's inspired by like Romeo and Juliet in Verona, which I love. So we have Juliet's balcony here and Romeo's tomb, and it says uh, Verona has picturesque piazzas, <laughs> charming cafes, and immaculate architecture. It says that they are supporting with this palette, they're supporting the World Wildlife Fund that protects all animals, including lovebirds. So I think that is so, so cute that they're doing this palette based on Verona, this city of love, and that we have Romeo and Juliet here on the front with the heart. And it says a more e more I keep wanting it to say it like in Spanish, but Morte, I don't speak Italian, it's cool. This palette, so we have like the red, we have the blue black over here, and it opens up and we have two mirrors. So we have the pink side and then we have the more cool blue tone side. So let me pop up a close up of this palette and let me show you swatches so that you can see how this palette all swatches out. Nomad, of course, did their traditional like embossings in the pan. I love that we see that from Nomad. I just think it makes the palette extra, extra special. And I know that swatches don't tell the full story of a palette. Definitely how it applies on the eyes is most important, but swatches are also super fun. So looking at these pans, we have so many different embossings on the pan. Like we have a sun up here. We have a heart with the Nomad logo, roses, swords, moons, poison bottles, like lots of different embossings. And I like that Nomad does that deep in the pan so that doesn't go away after you use it a handful of times. You know it's gonna be there for a while. So as we go about these looks, I'll definitely tell you like what shade I'm dipping into and what is embossed on the pan, but I definitely had to show you a close up before I swatched it, before I used it, because I want you to see it all nice and new. I have to say, right off the bat, I'm very attracted to this color story. My first impression is if these shadows are great, if they're the really good Nomad quality that I love, I'm sure I'm going to love this palette because I love some red and pink shadows. I love some blue, purpley tones. We have a black, we have some light mattes, we have some deep mattes. We have lots of what look to be really intense shimmers. I know you already saw the swatches. I have not swatched this yet, but I do have an affiliate code with Nomad. If you're shopping the Nomad site, you can use code Heather to get a discount on your purchase. I will also put that down in the description box for y'all so that you can check it out. But I love this packaging. Isn't this so super cool? I'll have to show you a close up of the packaging too so that you can see because there's lots of details in here. But I'm very excited to put this on my eyes. So I'm gonna put on a little eyeshadow primer. I'm going to zoom y'all in and we are going to create our first look. Okay, so I do have my eye primer down. I have oily lids, deep set eyes, crinkles to my eyes. I always start with an eye primer. And I'm really looking forward to playing with these shadows. I'm kind of trying to decide 
what I want to do. I was debating like sticking with these shades, then doing another look sticking with these, but I really want to dip into all the pans. Like I don't want to stay to one section. So we're going to be bouncing around. Although I do think it's really cool that they laid this out, how it's almost like two nine pan palettes together. I think that's really, really smart. But what I want to do is I want to start with this pink shade right up here, balcony. And there's like a balcony embossed in the pan. I think that's really, really cool. And we do have mirrors on this palette. So I can flip over it like this. And this is a rougher brush. This is a rougher 01. So I'm just going to lay that all down in my crease, above my crease, below my crease. <laughs> and I'm just going to blend that shade on. That is a really pretty color and it's blending so easily. It's nice and pigmented. Really, really like that. Okay, so now I'm going to grab this dual ended Sigma brush and I want to go in to, oh, let me see, this shade right down here. This one is called Quill and it has like a ink pot and a quill coming out of it. This dark kind of burgundy shade. I think this is going to be really, really pretty in the outer corner. So I'm just going to stamp it down first and I'm using a fluffy brush because I'm just planning to slowly build this up and blend it out. Okay, those are layering so well, which is definitely what I expect. So I'm just pressing this in and then blending. I mean, that's just so easy. Like it's not taking a lot of work at all. I did recently rank all of my Nomad palettes. I did that either at the end of November or December. So if you're curious about Nomad, definitely check out that video. And I have a whole Nomad playlist here on my channel. So I'm just going to keep blending here. Okay, what I want to do now is work on the lower lash line and I really want to pull in this shade right over here called Inferno. So this one has a flame printed on it and I'm picking this up on my Sigma E57 and I'm going to put this right down here on the lower lash line. I think these cool tone grays are going to complement what we have going on on the lid really well. So I'm just pressing that on and then lightly blending it down and around. This is such a pretty palette, like so pretty. Okay, I'm into that. I'm into the contrast with the pinks and reds and then adding this gray. So just buffing back and forth. Okay, for the lid, I really wanna go with this red shimmer right here. It looks like it has some pretty like orangey gold reflex to it. This one is called Comedy and it has the mask imprinted on it. Since this is really pretty and I want my look to be intense today. I'm actually, as soon as I get done filming, I'm going to meet a friend of mine for lunch. We're gonna have lunch together, talk, catch up, have a good time. So I wanna do like intense sparkly shadow. So I'm going to put down a little bit of my Carla Fix Potion. It's like a, like shadow adhesive. It's sticky. It's clear. You can use like a glitter glue. I love one from NYX. Unearthly makes one. And anything extra adhesive is going to make the shadows just pop. Or you could spray your brush. You could use your finger. Whatever you want to do. I just really want the intensity. So I'm going to put on my Carla Fix Potion. Okay, so I'm taking the other side of that Sigma dual ended brush and I'm just going to press this shadow all on top of my glitter primer. I'm not blending at first, I'm just pressing to make sure I get it right on top of that base. That shade like 
Can you see how sparkly it is? That's really beautiful. And it's pigmented too. So it's just really pretty next to these mattes. I like this so much. Okay, I'm so, so happy with how my look is coming together. I want to take this E33 from Sigma and dip into this shade Paradise. I was thinking of adding this to the inner corner, but I think I want to just have a little more shine. What I'm going to use this shade for, this blush, this brush is very like fluffy and flimsy, and I just want to use this to blend along kind of where those first matte shadows that we used where they stop and it's just gonna soften things up a bit and give a little more dimension to our look so if you can see from eye to eye it's just a very very subtle difference but I feel like those little subtle differences are what really can elevate an eye look. So I'm just gonna take my time and lightly blend there. And then I'm gonna grab a pencil brush. I am going to go in to this shade right here. This is what we're gonna do on the inner corner. This is Cupid. So I used Paradise that had the sun embossed and now I'm using Cupid and it has Cupid embossed in the pan. So I'm gonna pick that up and I'm just gonna spray my brush with a little makeup mist. Alrighty, let's take that and put that right there in the inner corner. That's gonna be really pretty. And I'm gonna wrap it around to come just on top of the gray shadow that we put on the lower lash line. So we mostly stuck to one half of the palette with this look, but I do like the way the gray looks on the lower lash line too, but you could definitely pull the red down there as well and do more of like a monochromatic look. But I'm really into this. I'm going to do eyeliner, lashes, mascara, and then I will come back. We'll see how this look comes together. All right, y'all, here is my finished look. I put on some Mykonos Light Lashes from Lily Lashes and some black eyeliner. <laughs> I keep getting hair stuck to my face, but I love this eye look. I think it's so pretty. All the mattes performed so well. The shimmer, or I, I don't even know that I would call these a shimmer. They're just like an intense, sparkly shade looks so beautiful definitely not pressed glitters when i say sparkle i don't mean glitter and i really really like this look oh i'm so happy i'm so excited to use this palette again i am about to head out the door to have lunch with my friend but i'm happy i really really like this look i just think it looks so cool let me tell you what else i have on my face though just in case you're curious for blush and highlighter i wanted to do something super duper glowy so i'm wearing that stella face trio from adept i'm wearing this shade right here and then this highlighter shade and then my lip is pat mcgrath uh, Divine Indiscretion Matte Trance Lipstick. And I topped it with one of the glosses that I bought from the Star Wars collection, but this is a permanent gloss to her line, I'm pretty sure. And this is the Pat McGrath Labs Carnal Desire Lust Gloss. So that's how I finished off this makeup look. I will put links for everything down below, but man, I really like my shadow and I think it looks so beautiful when the light hits the different reflex but we are going to do another look. I'm just so pleased with the first one but let's move on into the next one. All right we are back. We're going to do our second look and I want to prime my eyes for shadow but what I want to start with is I want to go in with the shade Dagger this really pretty cool tone purple down here. It has two daggers like interlocked on the embossing. And then I want to go in with the shade Poison that had the little like potion bottle. Sorry, can y'all see this navy blue right here? So those are what I'm going to kind of start the look with. But first, first, <laughs> hey, first, I need to drink some more caffeine. First, I'm going to prime my eyes. 
Okay, so I'm going to start off by taking this brush from Blinged Brushes, and I'm going into that matte navy shade called Poison, and I'm going to press this right into the outer portion of my eye, up into the crease. So from lid to crease, and I'm first going to start just pressing it, not blending it, just getting that pigment down because I can go back and blend in a minute. I don't have to like blend real perfect every single step. I mean, I'm not a perfect blender anyway. I'm just trying to have fun with my makeup. <laughs> but right now I just wanna press that shade on and then I wanna swap to a smaller brush. Again, this one's from Blinged Brushes. Make sure I have no creases in my eye primer. And I'm going to kind of do the same thing with this. I'm just going to put it on the inner part of my lid. I'm going to press it on from lash line up into the crease. And make sure I just get that down how I want it to be. And then I will take my time and I'll just start with a little, little blends like this. And just slowly, slowly blend these shades out. And I'm going to spend a little extra time making sure that this blue is blended. But I'm also going to pull in one of these gray shades. So let me see. Okay, so I'm not done blending just yet. But what I want to also do is grab, let me show you. I'm gonna grab this shade Tomb. So it has like Romeo's Tomb there. And I'm gonna grab my little Sigma brush. This is the E33. And I'm gonna pick up a little tiny bit of that gray, tap it off, and I'll kind of use this right up top to help me kind of diffuse things as well. So just lightly blending back and forth, back and forth. All right, this is how the look is coming together so far. I'm into it, but I wanna go ahead and add some sparkle. <laughs> I'm ready for some sparkle. So what I wanna do is I wanna use this shade right down here. This is called Tragedy, and it is like a very strong duochrome shift. It has like a bronze to purple type of look, something like that really really cool looking and then i want to also add in this shade right here called romeo and it has a heart embossed on the pan and it looks like we have kind of like this pink red with maybe a little bit of blue purple sparkle to it so i think that's gonna be fun okay so i have the shade tragedy picked up on my e54 and i want to keep this shade mainly on the center of my lid and I did pick up the shadow on my brush and then I sprayed my brush with just a little bit of like makeup setting spray or makeup mist. Everything I use I will link in the description box but I just want to keep that shade right there in the center of my lid. Okay then I'm going to take the shade Romeo on this blinged brush and I'm just going to put this shade on the inner corner of my lid. This is a very dense flat brush. But I think the size is perfect for right here in this little small area. I think that looks very, very cool. Depending on how I move in the light, I can see the different reflex. And I kind of like having this touch of red. Like when I move right there... It looks so red, but when I move this way, it looks a little different, and I like that a lot. I think that's so cool. Okay, I love this so much. I really am excited for how this is coming together. I think it looks so cool. Hmm, I'm into this. What I want to do now is we're going to go in with this shade right here called Juliet, and it has the broken heart. And then I'm also going to use this shade right here 
called Moors. That one looks really cool too. Really, really sparkly. So first what I'm going to do is take my black eyeliner. This is a Velvet Coal eyeliner from Pat McGrath. And I want to put this in my waterline and I want to be a little messy. So I'm going to let this get on the lower lashes too. Just like that. Okay, once I have my eyeliner on, I'm going to grab my E57 and I'm going to pick up that shade Juliet. Okay, so I'm going to put Juliet right up against the lash line and blend and it's going to mix a little bit with that black eyeliner close to the lashes because like I said, I wasn't being precise. I was being a little bit messy with my eyeliner so that I could smudge it out. Now, if you want this to be like even more intense, you could take the black eyeliner and basically like draw a line underneath your eye and then layer the Juliet shade on top and really smudge it out even more for an even more dramatic lower lash line. I like to do that sometimes with my shadows, but today I didn't want it to be quite that dramatic. Okay, I'm really happy with that. So next I'm gonna take this blinged brush and we're gonna go into that sparkly shade. Okay, I'm gonna pop this right here on the inner corner. That's really pretty. I'm gonna keep it in this small area. So we're not gonna see like it's full impact like we would if we use this shade all over the lid. But good grief, I think that's beautiful. All right, I'm gonna do liner and mascara but this is the eye look. I'll be back to show you how everything comes together and we'll kind of talk about this palette. Okay, I am back with the finished look. I just put on some black liquid liner and some Lily Lashes in the style Miami. My lip is Unearthly Cosmetics Angela Satin Liquid Lipstick and Glint Lip Gloss. And then for my cheeks, I put on Glam Light Strawberry Shortcake Blush. Love this blush. And then I'm wearing my Glam Light and Michaela Pot 2 Highlighter Trio. Let me show you what shade. I'm wearing this center shade right here called Blinden. I wanted to go with something bold bold look today i have lots to do this afternoon and i was like you know the eye look would be pretty with a more simple highlight simple lip but i'm feeling the drama today so that's what we have let's kind of talk about this palette okay so i know i said at the beginning of this video i was like if this is the amazing formula from Nomad. If this is the one I really love, if this is their beautiful sparkly shimmers, this is going to be my new favorite palette. Now, I haven't played with every single shade on the eyes yet, so I will definitely follow up in probably about a month, and I'll put this in like a palette speed review or something where I kind of tell you more about it. But right now, this is looking like it may be the new Nomad fave. The color story, I love. I love that it goes from light to dark. I love that we have plenty of matte and shimmer options. And I love that we have several different shimmer formulas in here. We have duochromes. We have shades that have a lot of different sparkle reflex in them. We have shimmers that are maybe not quite as intense but still really beautiful so when i have palettes i really like when there's multiple different formulas in a palette and they gave it to me with this so the color story the formulas everything about this i am loving so much and then the theming is so me too it fits in the stories, the myth, the legend side of me that I love. So I love that we have the story of Romeo and Juliet represented here and the travel aspect of Verona. I love that so much. I think this palette is so cool. I'm so excited to continue playing with this one. I think it's just... It's feeling like the best one yet from Nomad, in my opinion. Of course, my personal preferences factor into all that, but 
Yeah, yeah. This makes me so excited for what they're gonna do for the rest of the year. I will put all the details I have about launch, all of that down in the description box. Definitely, definitely check there. If you have any questions, I try to put as much as I can in my description box. Please do leave me a comment. Let me know which look did you like best. I decided to go with two pretty bold looks instead <laughs> instead of mixing it up and keeping them like one bold and one simple, but I just love, I love both looks. I don't know which one I like more, but I'm kind of like, I don't, there's something about the way this look came out that I'm really into, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day. Please do subscribe and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye.